Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts, and in this video, we're practicing Tunisian crochet cables using the meandering cables stitch pattern. This pattern is a great introduction to basic cables, and it'll give you the foundation to try even more cable stitches on your own. If you're excited to learn this Tunisian crochet technique with me, be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for even more crochet tutorials, free patterns, and product reviews. For this tutorial, I'm using a 6.5mm Tunisian crochet hook, worsted weight yarn, and a cable needle. The meandering cables pattern is worked over a multiple of 6 stitches plus 8. For my sample, I'm working over 20 stitches. Here I have a swatch of rows 1 through 8 for the meandering cables pattern. We'll repeat rows 3 through 8 for the pattern. So row 3 begins with Tunisian pearl stitching the next stitch. So the loop on our hook counts as our first stitch, so we're skipping this first vertical bar and we'll purl the following stitch. Bring the yarn to the front, insert under that stitch as for simple stitch, yarn to the back, yarn over, and pull up the loop. From here, our repeat is to cable four back and then knit two. So we'll be doing a cable over these next four stitches. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do Tunisian knit stitches over these next four stitches and then we'll do the cable. So find the next stitch, find that front and back bar, and insert your hook in the space between that front and back bar, pushing the hook towards the back of the work, yarn over and pull up the loop. It's going to be super important to keep your gauge fairly loose as you work your cables. So we're going to do that for the next three stitches as well. Insert between the front and back bar of that stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. There's two, three, and four. Now is where I'll work my cable, and I'll do that with a cable needle. You can use a cable needle, a tapestry needle, a pencil, whatever you have handy. So I'm going to use this. And what I'm going to do is use the pointy end of this cable needle and pull off those four knit stitches that I just completed. I'm going to then insert my hook through the back two loops only, drop my cable needle, and pick up those two loops that I dropped. They're now in the back. So cable four back means the first two of those loops are going towards the back of the work. They'll then come around and be placed back onto the hook. So that cable is complete. So the first two went around the back, the last two came around the front of our work. And I'm now going to follow that with two knit stitches. So find your next two stitches and knit those, still keeping the gauge relatively loose. So we're going to repeat that, so the cable followed by two knit stitches. So we've got our next four stitches here. Here's one knit, two knit, three knit, four knit. We're going to take those four loops off the hook using our cable needle, put the last two loops onto the hook, drop the cable needle, pick those first two loops up again, and bring them onto the front. Knit two, here's one, and two. Now we're at our last six stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and our last stitch makes six. We're gonna cable our next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. Again, with our cable needle, we're gonna pull those four loops off. Put the last two onto the hook, drop the cable needle, and put those first two back on the needle and bring them to the front of the hook. Next, we're going to purl the following stitch, and we're going to work our last stitch. So if we rotate our work towards us, we can see that we've got a front and a back loop for that last stitch. Insert your hook under both of those loops. At the end of this row, you should have the same number of loops on your hook 
as the number of chains that you started with. And we're going to do our standard return pass. We'll begin with a chain one and we'll want to yarn over and pull through two until there's just one loop left on the hook. So yarn over, pull through the next two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. We want to be especially careful that we don't pull through too many loops or that we get any of our loops out of order. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, taking it nice and slow. Especially through those cable, the loops that were from our cables. Yarn over through two, through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and two until we've got one loop left on the hook. So row four, we begin with a purl stitch. Remember the first loop on our hook counts as our first stitch, so we're skipping this first vertical bar. We're going to purl the next stitch, and we're going to knit each stitch across the row until we get to the last two stitches, then we'll purl one and work our final stitch. So when we're doing our knit stitches, I like to really get in there and pull my stitches apart. So for my knit stitch, in this first stitch here, I'm working in between the front and back vertical bar. Now to my next stitch, making sure I get in between that front and back vertical bar. And that's why it's so important for me to pull my stitches apart to make sure I'm getting into the actual stitch to do my knit stitch. So again, I'm at another cable, pulling those loops apart to make sure I can get in between for my knit stitch. And what this row essentially does is kind of resets everything, puts everything back into alignment because the row after this will be another cable row. So knit, 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 and knit. Oh, there we go. Then I'm at my last two stitches here. So I'm going to purl the next stitch, rotate my work towards me, find those two loops of my last stitch, insert under both of those loops, yarn over, pull up the loop. And now I'll do my standard return pass. Start with a chain one, yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two, through two. until I've got just one loop left on my hook. So my next row begins with a purl stitch. So I'm gonna purl the purl stitch. And then I'm going to knit each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, keeping my gauge loose, Here's three and four. Now I'm gonna go into my repeat for this row, which is cable four back and knit two. We'll do that until we have two stitches left. So I'm cabling over the next four stitches, which are here. So I'm gonna do knit four, there's three and four. Grab my cable needle pulling those four loops off, putting the last two onto the hook, drop the cable needle, first two back onto the cable needle, bring it around town, put it back on the hook, making sure everything stays aligned. And then I'll follow that with a knit two, so knit each of the next two stitches. We've got another cable here, so I'm going to knit four, there's two, three, and four. To complete my cable, I'm pulling four loops off with my cable needle. Two loops on, drop the cable needle, grab the first two loops, bring them around town, put them back on the hook. And then I'll follow that with two knit stitches. 
Now I'm at my last two stitches, my purl and my last stitch here. I'm going to purl my purl, rotate my work towards me, find those two loops of the last stitch. Make sure I work under both loops of that last stitch. Pull up the loop, chain one, yarn over, pull through two until you've got one loop left on the hook, going as slowly as you need to to keep everything aligned. Yarn over through two, through two. So you can see I'm using my fingertips and my nails to move my loops around to get them up and over my hook, taking my time. I usually breeze through my return pass, but I'm a lot more deliberate when working cables. So we'll wanna follow this row with our knit row. So of course, starting with our purl stitch. And then we're knitting each stitch across to the last two stitches. So going in the space between the front and back vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop. At my cables, I'll kind of maneuver these apart. Insert, push to the back, yarn over, pull up the loop. Insert, push to the back, yarn over, pull up the loop. And again, if you need to, just make sure you count your loops at the end of the forward pass to make sure you've got the same number of loops on your hook as you did in your starting chain. Pulling these cable stitches apart so I can knit each of these stitches. There's one, and there's one. I've got two knit stitches here. My last two stitches are here. So I'm going to purl the purl and work my last stitch, chain one. Now I can go back a little bit faster on my return pass, just yarning over and pulling through two. Yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two. Yarn over through two, 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 and two. Here for row seven, we start with a purl stitch as always. And we're gonna get right into our repeat, which is knit two and then cable four back. So knit two, there's one and two. We've got a cable over these next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. Grab our cable needle. Insert under those four, pull them off the hook. Last two go on the hook, drop the cable needle. First two back onto the cable needle and onto the front of the hook. And we're gonna repeat that until we've got six stitches left. So knit two, cable four. There's one, two, three, and four. Pulling those four off, last two back onto the hook, first two back onto the cable needle, and then back onto the hook. So we've got our last six here, we've got our last stitch, our purl stitch, and one, two, three, four stitches. We're gonna knit four, one, two, three, and four. Follow that with a purl, and then work our last stitch, making sure we catch both loops of that last stitch. Chain one, yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two, until we've got one loop left on the hook, taking things nice and slow here. Yarn over through two, Yarn over through two, through two, through two. Till we've got one loop left on the hook. And of course, we now wanna follow that with our knit row, which begins with a purl stitch. 
and we're going to knit each stitch across. Making sure we're real careful when we get to our cables. From here you'll want to repeat rows 3 through 8 to your desired length and that my friends is how you do the meandering cables pattern. This video was made as a supplement to the meandering cable square as part of the Tunisian holiday sampler blanket. To get the row by row instructions for the meandering cable square and learn more about this free sampler afghan pattern please visit the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.